Hello guys and gals and welcome. Boy have I got a doozy for you today. One that has absolutely blown my wig back. I mean, literally, look at it, look at it, look at it moving there in the wind. So, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, things around the internet that have basically said in one way or another that you would need probably close to about $100,000 to max out a character in Diablo Immortal. $100,000 is a lot of money um, for, for anybody. Even rich people, $100,000 is still a lot of money. And um, the unfortunate truth is, is that $100,000 is not actually how much it costs to max out your character. It's actually much, much higher. Um, it turns out that once you have a piece of equipment, which has been um, made above rank 6, and you slot a 5-5 five, five star gem into the armor, it undergoes the process called Awakening. And in this process called Awakening, you then require five more five-star gems to completely upgrade this gem into its fullest form, which is a total of six five-star gems per piece of equipment times the number of slots that you have, which equals a total number of five-star gems required of 36 five-star gems. <laughs> if you have any idea how much money this could possibly take, um, it could be anywhere as low as, if you get lucky, around $540,000. Or if you um, get unlucky, um, it could easily be as high as a million dollars. Let that sink in, boys. If you were an unlucky whale trying to upgrade your character in Diablo Immortal and you just had to have the highest possible equipment, it could actually run you as high as a million dollars to cap out your character. Um, and there's more. So once you've gotten your item um, and, your, and you have your gems, you need a special material that can only be purchased off of the market board or, or the, the cash shop. And this special item is called um, the Dawning Echo. Um, and they cost a thousand orbs apiece to upgrade your gems, which means you're technically going to need, uh, what is that, uh, six Dawning Echoes, which is basically 30 additional dollars per gem. So as if it's not already a slap enough in the face that you need 36 five five-star gems to fully upgrade your character, they charge you an additional $30 per to finish off your five-star gems. And this has made me think, if this hidden mechanic is hiding in the game, um, that literally was something that people didn't really know. Um, what other hidden mechanics are hiding in the game? I mean, this is a this is a mechanic that literally slaps you in the face after you have spent thousands upon thousands of dollars to cap out your character, and then once you've capped out your character with all five five star gems and you have all your equipment upgraded to its maximum possible level. They go, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to need 36 of those five-star gems, not just six. Oh yeah, and we have a special material that you're going to have to purchase off the board called the Dawning Echo to actually use to upgrade this item. And um, it's probably going to cost you maybe uh, you know anywhere between $540,000 and, uh, and maybe even over a million depending on how your rolls go and how many times you have to, uh, you know, to keep rolling those uh, those legendary crests to see if you can get those five-star gems. This is absolutely insane, boys, okay? Um, I mean, I, originally I thought $100,000 was a lot. And, you know, for someone my, like me who is relatively poor, please donate, um, <laughs> uh, you know, $100,000 is is a lot of money to me. Um, you know, it could it could make let, let me live comfortably for many years. I guarantee you if I had $100,000 sitting in my bank account right now, um, I could uh, I could cease going to work. Um, I could live completely off of my YouTube income. I would probably have absolutely no trouble whatsoever for many year uh, with $100,000 sitting in the bank. And uh, and so to me, $100,000 already seems like an awful lot. 
But for them to have a hidden mechanic like this in the game that literally doesn't show its ugly head until after you've gotten to the point where you've upgraded all your equipment is just so mind-boggling to me. Like, could you imagine you spend, you know, maybe $110,000 on something, and then as soon as you've bought it and you've got your, you, you know, you're comfortable with it, the guy comes up to you and goes, yeah, so um, it's going to cost you another, um, anywhere between, by the way, we're not 100% sure, uh, anywhere between about 400000 more to maybe about, you know, uh, 900000 more? Uh, you know, if you're willing to spend it, you know, to get this fully, this bad boy fully upgraded, fully, uh, fully geared out, fully kitted, you know what I mean? Uh, because I know you, I know you want the best because that's why you spent the hundred and ten thousand dollars in the first place because you wanted, you wanted the absolute best. But um, you know, I, I'm here to tell you that that's not the absolute best, and this is actually the absolute best. All right, and we're gonna have to get you um, into a higher uh, tax bracket here. Um, so this information actually came from a uh, redditor. Um, his name is Shift Your Carcass. So I want to give him the proper credit. Um, he posted the pictures as well as the um, the picture of the dawning echoes. And uh, you know what? I'll even include the Reddit post in the description if you want to go check it out and chat and, and yak and stuff. And this makes me this makes me really curious. Are there any other hidden mechanics? hiding literally hidden hiding secret ninja crouching tiger mechanics underneath of the surface you know like once you get all six of your gems fully upgraded with five five stars um you know once you have your equipment as high as you can possibly get it who's to say there's not another secret door that just opens up and now you're in another rabbit hole going even deeper and if you do eventually pay I mean, even if you get lucky and you only pay $540,000 um, on Diablo Immortal and to upgrade your character to maximum, I mean, at what point do you realize that you literally have just dropped the biggest money bomb in the world for what purpose? To stomp on noobs in PvP? <laughs> I mean, that seems like the only reason that you would actually go this far. And, 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 the, and the really sad thing about it is, is that I'm assuming... That if you did actually drop the five hundred forty thousand dollars to a million dollars on this game to uh, to upgrade your character to the highest level possible, you would essentially be like a, a cheated character, right? So you would be so powerful that nothing in the game would be able to even come close to you know even challenging you. And for those of us who have played cheated characters that are literally so powerful that they can one shot everything in existence. It's boring. Like, it, it is really boring. Um, it's fun for a little while, don't get me wrong. It is fun to be that immortal god character for, you know, all of, like, uh, you know, an hour, maybe a day. Sometimes, if it's a really cool game, sometimes maybe even a week. But eventually it becomes extremely boring and you realize that there's no fun in being the most unstoppable, broken, ridiculous character that you, nobody even has a chance in hell of, uh, of beating. And, uh, and so that's why a lot of us who realize the fact that cheats essentially are not fun, that they essentially make the game boring, we, we usually go back to games that, you know, kind of prevent us from cheating. Online games are one of those things. Uh, they're a little bit harder to cheat at. Um, and uh, and it's it's kind of like a lock on a door. Yeah, you could pick the lock, but if the lock is there, there's a pretty good reason. You know, pretty pretty good chance you're not going to pick the lock. You know what I mean? Um, you know, because the lock is there. But if the door was just open, you might walk in. Uh, it's the same kind of thing for cheating. You know, when you play offline by yourself, the door is open. It's right there. You can cheat anytime you want to. Um, whereas when you play online, it's a little bit more difficult. You could get banned. Uh, but sp spending money for this is, uh, is is a whole different ball game. You're basically spending money for cheats at that point. And, uh, and you're so far above everyone else that you might as well be God. <laughs> Anyway, as always, I thought I would just bring you some fun news and uh, keep watching.